spectroscopy. Um, as you can see um, on the animation on the screen, just a second. Um, you see, you have a, a wave on the, which are 90 degrees to each other. So that's called an electromagnetic radiation. It has an electric field and a magnetic field component. So in spectroscopy, that's what, uh, that's what you is involved. The, uh, it's, what's involved is the interaction of matter with electronic magnetic, electromagnetic radiation. So there are uh, different types of uh, EMR. Uh, you have radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, UV, X-ray, and uh, gamma ray. So it's just a simple mnemonic device to remember the uh, the EMR. Rich men in Vancouver use X-ray guns, or you can use your own. <laughs> I've just been using this for many years. Um, so in this arrangement, you have uh, the EMR arranged in decreasing wavelength or increasing frequency or increasing energy. So in other words, radio wave will have the, um, the longest uh, wavelengths, gamma ray will have the shortest wavelengths, and then radio will have the uh, lowest frequency or energy, and gamma ray will have the highest frequency or highest energy. So in spectroscopy, um, just like what I mentioned, uh, the particle interacts with, uh, with an electromagnetic radiation. And when it happens, something happens with uh, the particle. And it's best described using an energy level diagram. Um, oops, oops, let me go back. So let me go back. Um, on the uh, energy diagram, you see that um, if the incoming energy or the EMR or electromagnetic radiation um, uh, interacts with uh, the particle at ground state, if the energy is equal to the energy of transition between uh, electronic states or delta E, what happens is the particle gets excited and um, absorbs that energy, sorry, <laughs> absorbs that energy and gets excited. So the process, that process is called absorption. And um, at the excited state is not very stable. So naturally the particle would wanna go back to a more stable state or the ground state. And in that process, the energy that was absorbed theoretically will be released as uh, energy with the same um, uh, magnitude. So that, that process is called emission. So this is the basic uh, principle involved in uh, spectroscopy. General procedure, uh, of course, you need to prepare your sample. And then you introduce the sample to the uh, calibrated instrument. And then the instrument detects the signal from the sample and then signal processing. So take note, the, uh, in spectroscopy, you have um, electrical or optical signal related to the concentration of the analyte. Some basic components of a spectroscopic instrument are energy source. So uh, it's either an AMR source. Uh, well, you always have to have an AMR source. Uh, thermal sources and uh, chemical sources and uh, you have wavelength selector, can be a filter, a monochromator, or interferometer. Detectors, which can be photon transducers or thermal transducers. And then finally, you have a signal processor, uh, analog meters, recorders, and computers. And normally you have a software uh, that processes the, uh, the signal that comes from the detector. The um, Sorry. So there are many types of uh, spectroscopic techniques, as you can see on this table here. Um, but we can actually classify the uh, spectroscopic techniques into two uh, categories. So the first one is when there is an exchange of energy between a photon and, um, and a particle. So photon is just a, a, a light particle because I will just briefly say that uh, uh, 
electromagnetic radiation sometimes behave as a particle. So it's the wave particle uh, behavior of light. Um, so these techniques uh, involve energy change, exchange, and um, the type of energy transfer can be absorption, emission, photoluminescence, and chemiluminescence. Um, because of time, and uh, we will only be uh, talking about uh, UV-Vis and IR spectroscopy. Uh, these are the common ones that we use for analytical uh, applications. So you have UV-Vis spectroscopy, atomic absorption, and uh, infrared. And then the other group of uh, spectroscopic techniques is uh, where there is no exchange of energy between a photon and the uh, sample. So the interaction involves uh, Interactions can be uh, diffraction, refraction, scattering, and dispersion.